there's a really cool option available on the ESA. What I'm talking about is the how to's. You would have seen it in the GUI right here on the right side. Well, you can actually move it. Uh, if you grab it right here, you can move it to some other places from there to some other place. Well, it's completely adjust. Well, that this video is not about moving how to's here and there on the uh, uh, GUI. Well, this is like a completely free guide on the ESA. It's like someone holding your hand and telling you, okay, this is how you can figure so and so if you're stuck somewhere. Well, not necessarily with all the uh, features, but it has a lot of things in it. It, it has walkthroughs, it has videos, useful links. You'll see all this right here sitting inside your ESA. Well, if you're new to ESA, this is going to help you a lot. Now, for example, if you want to configure uh, DLP, you can just click on it and it tells you before you begin, you got to do so and so. I'm not going to click on that. Anyways, it tells you about DLP and how you're going to create stuff for it, create a content matching classifier, create this, create that. So it has a lot of options. Now, if you want to, let's say, for example, do a SecureX, uh, in integrate ESA with the SecureX, um, detect forged messages, SAML, and whatnot. There's a lot of options. No, not just that. Take a look at the last part. It talks about videos as well. It has an option for that. Um, use guided walkthroughs and smart lic licensing, Dane, and all that. Uh, useful links and how to configure DKIM, verify incoming messages using a DMARC. Wow, that is some really cool stuff in there. There are a couple of commands available for the how-tos as well. You can disable it, enable it, it's completely your choice. I'm gonna show you that part as well from the CLI. Um, we'll look at the other commands as well. Well, let's take a look. Okay, from the CLI, we can do a couple of things. Now, first, uh, let's talk about how to enable or disable how-tos. The last option right here, admin access config would be the first command, and then we have how-tos as the last option available right here. How to's hit enter and how to's consists of a list of generic walkthroughs to assist the users in completing a particular task, for example, enabling or configuring a service engine on the appliance is currently enabled. What do you want to do? Yes or no? If I hit enter, okay, not a problem, done. Now, another thing about this would be there are a couple more commands how to status and how to update. Let me just press the tab key. How to update how to status now if i do a how to update i hit enter it says requesting update of the how to's component now this particular command does not require a commit so i don't have to go ahead and commit if i do that it's gonna it's gonna say there's no data to commit because this does not require a commit okay and apart from this this command of uh how to update this can this can be uh, used in all the three machine modes uh, the cluster the group and the machine as well now if i go ahead and type how to update you see right here is it gives you the option right here okay so you can use this and it tells you about this command basically and what does force do if you use that particular parameter with this command now, if you don't have it enabled, uh, like under the admin access, uh, admin access config command, um, you can just uh, enable it here, go to the GUI and just refresh the page and uh, you'll see it there right after enabling it. And uh, I'd say the final part would be the how to status. I click on this, how to is 1.0, never updated. Okay, if there's no new version available, well, it's not gonna update, right? So that's pretty much it. Um, well, that's it for today, I believe. I can play a little more with that if you want. You can do the help on the other command as well. And that's pretty much it. So um, apart from that, you can check out the other options available from the GUI that I did not go in detail, but I just showed you uh, the options that are available. It's a pretty cool thing. You can go ahead and check it out and uh, go to the video links that are available there. It's going to help you with the walkthroughs as well. Well, that's some cool stuff I actually wanted to show you, but it would be great if you go ahead and check that out in case you want me to drop in a comment and I'll be very happy to do that. Thank you so much again. Have a wonderful day ahead. Goodbye.